You know what? I, it's hard for me to disagree with you, Shannon, on this because I don't. But I think that the important point to be made here, because it's obvious it was a failure, no doubt. But I think the way it ended just punctuated how big of a colossal failure it was. To go in 2019, let's harken back, let's rewind the clock. Back in 2019, after Clay, uh, Kawhi Leonard got at the Toronto Raptors, led the Toronto Raptors right, to a right. championship, playing with Pascal Siakam, you know, uh, Kyle Lowry and those guys, uh, you know, winning the championship, major props to them with Nick Nurse as his coach. He departed from Toronto at that particular moment in time. What did he do? He basically blackmailed the Los Angeles Clippers. He said, you want me, yeah. I need you to trade the farm do all of this to get Paul George. Otherwise, I'm going to play with LeBron James and Anthony Davis in Los Angeles. That's what he did. He basically blackmailed the Clippers. Steve Ballman and the Clippers couldn't afford Kawhi Leonard to go to the Los Angeles Lakers with what they were trying to build. So what do they do? They give up Gil Jay Gilgis. They give up Danilo Gallinari. Five first-round picks and two first-round pick swaps, Shannon. So you got basically seven first-round picks if you really, really want to get specific about it, right? And then we fast forward. Yeah. Not only do you not get to an NBA Finals, not only do you get to just one conference finals, not only did you go to that Western Conference Finals without Kawhi Leonard, who had gotten hurt the series before against Utah, but on top of that, Kawhi Leonard is perpetually injured. He ends up missing 60% of your playoff games. He doesn't do a damn thing to promote the franchise or the market, and what do you do? Not only do you re-up with him again, not once, but twice, despite his perpetual injury history, although he played 68 games this year before being unavailable for yet another postseason, but then on top of it all, you go out there and you alienate Paul George by bringing in James Harden and, all, and, and compromising, to some degree, your style of play. And then you let Paul George walk out of the door for nothing, as opposed to getting compensation for him. I know Wendy talked about them saving money and moving in a different direction, but the bottom line is you paid Kawhi Leonard and you ended up paying James Harden. So because you paid those two, it ain't some full-blown reclamation project here. You're still trying to give the impression that you're trying to compete, but you did so by sacrificing Paul George, the very person you sacrificed the future of the franchise for, to acquire. And so I think that is what makes it such a huge, huge failure, Shannon. Second serve. <laughs>